It started slowly, just a lot of smoke, residents say. But about 11, it erupted into this. An intense, fast-moving, and very hot fire. But the first hint that something was wrong came much earlier. I smelled it. I smelled it in my, I guess, the living room. And I saw some smoke coming in from, looked like, under the floorboards. Called 911 right away. I knocked on the other doors, and almost everybody was gone. A uh, gal was there under in the apartment underneath mine, and she, you know, just the two of us there. It was initially to start the smoke. And it, it didn't start having a fire, um, flames, till about 11 o'clock. They couldn't find it. And then it, it just, the like, all went up all at once, and then spread, like, back, and then went back again. Yeah. And then it, like, exploded down here right across from us. <laughs> but even when the residents were out, there was still another fear. A number of pets locked in these apartments, helpless. But the first thing we did was get the pets out, but they got upset with us. And get pets out, they wanted to concentrate on the fire. Oh, yeah. But then I didn't know half the people had pets, and I didn't even know they had pets. Oh. All of the animals were rescued. The cause of the fire has been traced to a short in a laundry room fan. It originated in the first floor apartments. The first floor, in the, between the first and the second floor apartments, got into the walls and the floors, spread to the, up towards the attic. Fourteen families are out of a home tonight, but all are safe. The Red Cross is seeing to their needs. One firefighter was hurt, but the injuries were minor. Damages from this fire, three to four hundred thousand dollars. In Anderson Township, Paul Schaefer. Channel 9 News.